Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about One UI 6.0 with Android 14 that brings a bunch of powerful security tools to your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So here we have the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. If I go to my settings, and if I go all the way down under About Phone, you can see we have One UI version 6.0 Android 14. The beta version is running on this smartphone right now. Now I did make a video that showed you guys all the features of One UI 6.0, but here's something I did not cover. So when you go to the settings and when you scroll down just a little bit, under security and privacy, we have a brand new little suite of options relating to security and they're going to be under auto blocker, which is going to be under additional security settings. This is a brand new interface, so when you tap on it, you get a whole bunch of various options. Now, first and foremost, you can turn this off or on, okay? Obviously, it is recommended to turn this on. You are also able to tap right here and go to About and see what version it is. And if there's any updates, you are able to update right from here. It's going to show up right here somewhere if there's any updates. Or just tap the eye and get some more information about the application. Now, Let's go back to the main screen and you can see we actually have one, two, three, four, five options that they have consolidated right here. So the first one over here, it says block apps from unauthorized stores and you are able to turn on learn more, which is going to take you to the install unknown apps screen. Now you can see this one here is completely blocked out. I cannot enable any one of these. So sometimes people are able to install APK files from the Chrome browser. To do so, you have to actually enable this, okay? But when you have the auto blocker enabled, it is gonna disable this menu here that says install unknown apps. You can see at the bottom, it says, let me go back in here. It says auto blocker is on, cannot install unknown apps, okay? So if you have this enabled, so if you have this enabled, you are unable to activate any one of these over here, just so you know. And then the next thing that I wanna talk about, it says turn on app security checks. So basically this says apps installed on your phone will be checked for malicious activity. Again, if I tap on learn more, it takes me to device protection settings, which actually is right now enabled anyway. And the reason it is enabled is because this is enabled. Now I wanna let you know when I tap over here and I go back, it takes me to a different device protection screen. And this device protection screen normally is under device care at the bottom right over here, okay? So that thing is now also bundled under the auto blocker settings in security and privacy. Now here's two of my mo most favorites. The first one here says blocks commands by USB cable. Now you may or may not know this, but it is actually very easy to run commands on an Android phone via a USB cable, whether that is attached to a PC or it is attached to a malicious charger like it says right here. I can run Linux commands on my computer using a console to gain access to this phone. Now with this thing enabled here, I am not gonna be able to do that unless I come and specifically disable it myself. By the way, you can run those commands even if your screen is turned off and you have a pin number. But when you enable this, it's gonna block those commands regardless. And then we have advanced options here that can be independently turned on and off as you can see, okay? So the first one is the messaging app protection. So block images suspected of containing malware inside the messaging application. There are so many ways to hack your phone or at least put something nasty in it. And with this one here, you are able to block those as well. And finally, we can block software updates by USB cable. Now this, sometimes you might need to do this, but for most people, this is not necessary. So you can always have this enabled without fear of losing anything out. If you are a power user, you might want to disable this if you connect your phone to your computer all the time to get things done, okay? Uh, using commands via a console on the computer. But again, 
if you keep it enabled and you're aware that it's here, you can always just disable it before you use it. But these are some great functions now under Auto Blocker, and it's something to look forward to with One UI 6.0 under Security and Privacy. And hopefully, One UI 6.0 will come to as many devices as possible. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?